I've got my board here, okay? Um, now, the easiest way that I usually do, and, and I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to work kind of one of these bigger ones, is basically you find the two solder points of where they are. It's that one and that one. So what I usually do is just take a soldering iron, and this is not on, and you heat up one leg and you kind of pull or kind of bend it that way because the legs will kind of bend because um, you can try to heat up both sides and pull them out but that's not always a good plan so what I usually do is try to like I said kind of walk it out I heat up one side kind of pull and then heat up the other side kind of pull the other way and just keep working that until I get finally get it out then the next thing that we'll do is because I'm going to explain what we do and I got I don't have any of my tools ready. I apologize. We're going to use a solder sucker and I've got to find mine um, to kind of like we can either use two things. We can either use like a solder wick um, to clean out the hole and that may be the best thing here because uh, well this these are actually dual layer um, but so we might have to use the oh here it is here's my solder sucker here so and basically um it's a pretty simple little tool uh it locks into place has a little nozzle uh you heat up one side i usually heat up one side of the board so once the once the cap is clear heat up one side of the board stick the solder sucker in the hole make sure that it's heated heated up hit the button um, and then suck the solder out then I can you know lift the um, soldering iron um, happens pretty quickly and then you just use this is also the clean out to uh, to clean out the, uh, the the spent solder so it's ready for your next uh, to clean out the next hole and basically if you want to you can use uh, sometimes I use a flashlight to really see uh, if I've got my hole clean because basically once your hole is clean it's gonna make placing the cap really 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 easy and now I'm gonna get my pen of ice yes it's very dirty pen of ice is very dirty and then I need a new pen of ice because I can't get these so what I'm gonna do uh, with this is I'm gonna have to pick a point to grip it so just if you do this and have a pan of ice that doesn't can't fit the whole board just try not to grab any of the uh, like components and thing uh, okay so now that is good it's nice and tight so and now I can position it however I want to work it so and I'll try to get it to where I can work and then you can also see because it's, it's two things that are really sort of difficult so here's my two points here so let's move that over there so now what I'm going to do I'm going to get soldering iron and turn it on I'll plug it in Turn it on. All right. So my good old pine seal. I can see they left leads that are pretty, uh, pretty long. But you can see there, I'm just taking it and I'm pulling. And I'm not really like, you know, hyper extending it at all. You can see there, I didn't really bend the leads that much came out pretty quickly now the one thing I want to make sure of that I didn't do now is that and I've still got it in my orientation is when I desolder it sometimes boards that are not put together by hand will not be marked over which side is the positive side and which side is the negative side now this board happily uh, because it was put together by hand is marked 
Um, and I'll show you, let me zoom in on the board so you can kind of get an idea of what I'm talking about. So now let me uh, focus right quick. So one moment here so you can kind of see exactly what I'm talking about because uh, focus. Uh, where are we at? Almost. Yeah, there. I think you can see there. So, this is where I took out um, the board, the the capacitor here. Uh, I took out this one, C two o four, and so it has a little positive mark. Uh, where it says positive and a little negative mark for negative. If I look at my capacitor, you can see it's got this stripe. That's going to be your negative side. And then there's nothing on the other side. So like cathode and anode, right? So, um, so yeah, this is my drain or my negative is where the stripe is. So now when I order these, now you can see this one is a 330 uh, UF uh, 10 volt. It's not really a U, it's microfarad. So what I have to do is now I look through my list and I can see here and what I did with my Mauser part is you have a Mauser part number. Uh, you have a customer PN or part number. So I put in C204 because I know this was it. Uh, and if you can see here, it's a 330 microfarad 10 volt. Um, so that's what we got. And you can see, <laughs> I'll show you the difference of what you can get today versus what was of yesteryear of the 1980s. Is this, this these two are the same caps. Okay. Um, unbelievably. So this one is also marked okay this is a uh axial um cap which means it's all on or excuse me or radial cap it's all on a, a radius not axial axial is one axis right which i do have one of those on the other board but uh you can see here it's also marked you can also see that the legs one leg is longer than the other the leg that is short is the negative side now i can't put this in because there's still some solder that's there that I have to clean out. So I'm going to put my, usually I usually um, clean this out before uh, we get to that point. So I'm going to raise this back up so you can kind of see that process as well. So let me kind of more position my board and I'll change. The, I'm working on a new uh, rig here soon, so I won't have to do all of this. But you can see my two points here are where uh, I'll be working from. So, okay. So now what I'm gonna do is get my solder sucker out and I'm gonna look at the other side. And normally I don't work this way because it's way too far over. But I can still kind of see, so it'll be okay. Um, but I'm doing this for you guys. And I'm putting it right on the hole. Uh, and then I'm going to heat it up. My starting iron was asleep. And it's going to kind of suck through, but it didn't go all the way. So I'm going to do it again. Uh, we're getting there. There was a lot of solder in there. All right, one more time. It's getting there. I think I'm moving it. Mm. 
Now you can also do this. We can heat up because this is a silicone tip, so it will not burn. Um, although sometimes gravity helps. And I can see what my problem is, is that my tip needs to be cut. I don't think I'm getting a good suction. So I'm just going to cut it. Okay. Now I'm going to try again on this side. Let's see where I'm at. There we go. So I think I was losing some of my suction. Almost, I can see an indentation where it's trying to come through. It's like a little crater. Mm, to get out the solder works. This is a lot of solder they use on this thing. And this is one of the things you have to deal with. One thing though is that I'm not, I don't want to burn the pad out. So that's why I'm quickly on it and then off of it because if that pad you have to be very careful can lift out on you now you can you might be able to see and maybe I'll zoom in and see but we actually have a little hole now it's not that big but we are making progress um, let me see here uh, there's the two holes now let me fix your let me fix the focus here um so right here is where the hole is and maybe i can start doing it that way i can work that way but i can see light on this other side so like I said, we're making really good progress. Yeah, that's nice and cleaned out. Now, if you want to check it, um, especially since, you know, you have your cap and you got one end that's long, you can always see if you could run it in. And I can barely run it in. So that looks like that's going to work. I'm going to try to see if I can run it in from the other side. Yes. So now I have access. Now that hole is completely, that is good enough for me. It's not completely cleaned out, but cleaned out enough. Now we're going to do the other side. Hopefully this will run a little bit faster now that we have uh, my section, my solder section working pretty good yeah so that one went a lot better and now I'm gonna try to see I'm just gonna try to do a dry fit and try to see if I can carefully get both of them in there if I could see like I said I normally don't work in these extreme angles but for you guys I am so I can't really get on the other side um, it's still a little not not really cleaned out very well so I'm gonna hit it one more time it may may not have cleaned it And sometimes you can just kind of see where there's kind of a solder burr or something like that. That looks pretty cleaned out to me. Um, yeah, that looks like that is going to work. 
yes so now I can get this in and I can push it down now this one the width is a little bit different but that's okay I'm just going to push it down enough then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bend the leads out a little bit now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get out my solder okay do do now with solder, it's good to know that like the solder will melt where the heat is. So you have to heat the part that you want the solder to flow to. So you can usually start with a little bit of solder and that helps spread the heat, but that shouldn't be the heat. Okay. It's all right. So now those two, look, I'm going to hit this one just a little bit more because I can see that there's a little bit of hole. There you go. Those two parts are now soldered. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the leg and then I'm going to cut my with my flush cutters. The reason I do that is you don't want these little things just floating around everywhere. You'll make a mess. Those leads sometimes can come in handy to make bridge points or like for other things. So if you want to save them, uh, you can save them. Sometimes I use them to, um, like if I've got a really difficult hole to like clean out, I'll use those, I'll hold it. Cause I don't want to use a part to like clean out, you know, a hole uh, where there's a lot of solder, but that can work too. So that's pretty much it. Now that one is done. Uh, and now it is just a process of <laughs> going through like one by one by one by, you know, by one of cleaning out all these, uh, all these caps on all these boards and, and everything else. Um, but as you can see here, if you can see, you know, um, the whole board, um, you can now see where uh my one that i've replaced which is harder to see because it's not blue it doesn't stand out as much um, but you can see here how that one now i've replaced it um and i can tell here i looked at the board positive negative it's it, it is soldered in the right spot so um i am good to go with that one so one down like tw 20 odd more to go so uh i'll leave i'll leave it here and um i'm not going to come back and and show you the finished product so you can just just imagine in your head uh the the finished product of the sb10 you've seen pictures of the sb10 the sb10 board you you already saw the the board put together so now i've got a lot of work to do so uh if you have any questions um you know hit me up in the uh in the comments um you know if, if you want to know uh anything else uh, hopefully i'm going to be doing another video on like soldering um like kind of tools and stuff like that that you need uh for all this other kind of basic stuff hopefully um if you're already to this point then um then you've already got some of that down um but yeah we'll, i'll be glad to go over some of that if if you like so like and subscribe we're gonna have more diy stuff some more product reviews and some more uh, fun discussions and stuff like that. So we'll see you on the flippity flip. See you guys later.